Sophia here with another hair tutorial. So first I'm starting off with this blue. All the products will be listed in the description block box in case you want to know what color it is. And this color is like a purplish type blue color. I'm putting a little bit of this in and a lot of the blue and I'm just mixing it up. And this is going to be the main color. I'm now going to make a secondary color with this rich eggplant and I'm mixing it with this blue black color as highlights because I didn't want it to be like super bright looking. I wanted to kind of have some darker tones to it. And this is a wig that I got from AliExpress. It is a lace front wig. It looks kind of crazy on the mannequin, but I mean, trust me, it'll work out. So I start putting the first mixture on first. And because that dye was so thick and pasty, it did not really seamlessly go on there like I thought it would. It actually took like a whole lot of effort to put it on there. But basically, you want to just cover the blonde, blonde part. Since the black is already at the roots, there's no need to go over the black with the dye. And yeah, you can see me struggling here because it was just so thick. And then basically this is the second color that I'm just choosing to highlight. And at this point I was just trying to cover the little blonde pieces that I missed with the thicker paste. So after it is all said and done, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to get some foil paper and wrap it around the whole wig. Um, do not get dye on the lace. As you can see, there is no dye on the lace. Just be careful with that. And I, after I put it in this foil paper, I think I let it sit for about 40 minutes. Each dye is different, but for this particular dye, I let it sit for 40 minutes. After it's rinsed off, this is like some semi-wet hair. I kind of blow dried it a little bit. It's still a little wet because I wanted to cut it. This wig was supposed to come as a bob, but it didn't really. So I just place it in a ponytail, um, the back portion, and leaving from the ears forward out. And I am cutting up. A, la a lot of people got on me about my last bob video about me not cutting up. So I cut up this time, th th you guys. Yeah. So I cut down at a slant just to create a bobbing effect. I could not get it on camera because I needed to see what I was doing, but you basically get the picture. And I know in the back it looks a little jagged, jaggered, but I mean, I straightened it out off camera. I wasn't gonna bore you with every little snip and cut that I did. Um, and plus when you cut it, it doesn't, you know, when you curl it, it does, it hides a lot of the imperfections of the cut. So this is the hair blow dried. And I'm basically just taking a flat iron and curling the hair. And that is about it, guys. Um, please subscribe. I will see you guys another day, another time. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.